Hi, welcome to Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7tutors.com. This is just an introduction lesson, so we'll be diving much into the software. We just want to wrap our heads around the concept of Photoshop and what it's all about. So, in this lesson, we'll be understanding the Photoshop work area by navigating through the work area and by looking at its major features and their respective functions. Alright, so let's get started. I like to start every lesson with a question. So what is Photoshop? Well, we could just define Photoshop as an image editing software. But trust me, when you get to know more about Photoshop, you begin to realize you can do a whole lot more. So if you're an artist, a designer, photographer, or web designer, or an interactive designer, this is the tutorial for you. But uh, I guess if you're a mathematician or something, I guess you need another tutorial. But anyway, in this tutorial, We'll be looking at the Photoshop interface through these modules. And we'll be looking at new features that are included in this latest version of Photoshop. In this lesson, we'll be working with Photoshop CS5. Not to worry, if you have any other version, you can still use this tutorial. At least it will still be the same. All right. Okay, so this is the Photoshop work area. And we'll just be getting a basic understanding of the various functions and their features. And I'd like to remind us if you're using an older version of Photoshop, you do not need to worry. You can still use this tutorial. The functions and the features still remain the same, well, except for the new features that have been added. These we'll be looking at later on in the tutorial. Now, at the top here, we have the menu bar. The menu bar gives us access to most commands and features in Photoshop. From here, we can create new files. We can browse the system for our save files and import or export our, our files. We can add effects to our work from here. We can also choose to add palettes to the palette well, and we can change to customize our workspace. Now, right here we have a new feature, but we'll be looking at this later on in the tutorial. Now, beneath the menu bar is the option bar. Now, before I speak on the option bar, I'd like to first introduce the toolbar. Now, the toolbar is found here on the left side of the screen. Now, it gives us actual, um, access to various tools that can enable us to edit our images. Okay, now for the option bar. The option bar um, is um, content sensitive. Well, it's, it is because whenever you select a new tool, it changes. As you can see, where we chose the um, brush tool, it gives us a different content options that are only for the brush tool and if we select the gradient tool for example it gives us options that are only for the gradient tool so we can say that the option bar is tied to the toolbar and we can also say that the option bar is content sensitive now in the middle this is our active image area now this is where the image being worked on will appear. So when you import a file or an image into your work area, it will appear here. So no need to worry. We'll be looking at these um, or this later on in the tutorial. Now we have our palettes. Now the palettes, these are our palettes. Each one of these is a palette. And our palette enables us to modify our images. Now you can drag out the palette from the palette well and this enables us to introduce the palette well the palette well is like the container that holds our palette in so you can pull out the palette and you can just put it back oops <laughs> put it back the wrong way Let's see. bingo you can drag put this here there we go so you can see that our palettes are found within the palette well. And I'd just like to add that our palette well can also be dragged out. Bingo. And you can also drag your toolbar out to work, you know, to just edit your interface to whatever way it suits you. If you want to pull this here, you can just click here and drag over here. Drag this one. Here, uh, let's see. yeah, you can pull this out, bring this here, 
any way you choose. So this is just an introduction of our Photoshop uh, interface. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at how to import files and to start a new project. Till next time, this is Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7tutors.com.